Right, this is a little bit of a shit storm coming for the teachers. My youngest, yeah, she's a clever girl. Now, nah, she left her nursery and she went to junior school. Now, yeah, she's gone to senior school. Do you know how many times she's come home? I don't know, my girl. Oh, what's my baby? I can see her wind up. Not a coil. Oh, that's all right, nothing. Anyway, she's been at school now for about three years. And it's been picking in my mind. And I know what's been going on with all the agenda and all this agenda. When your daughter comes home and says to you, I hate school. I hate it. I really hate it. And I'll go, yeah, baby, I remember. I used to hate school. We all did. He said, no, no, Dad, I've always listened to you. What you said about your schools. You, you hated it because of these reasons and that reason. She goes, when I left my junior school, I loved learning. I was at the top of every class. You know, I thrived off of it. And she goes, and I went to the senior school and there... Uh, I'm having a, a teacher, and I, I don't know if it was the headmistress or the deputy, turn around and basically making her feel like she's being forced to recognise there's more than two genders. I'm trying to be careful how I say these things and you might be looking at me like I'm being really calm at the moment but wow inside me it's like a pinball machine how can they call themselves a school when the head of that school thinks there's more than two Mind boggles. Like I said before, if people can't see this shit now, really, and you're not arming your kids up every day and every night before they go to school of what's right and how they got here, how we all got here, to think that there is a propaganda out there right now and it is so strong within I don't want to say brainwash because it is it's it's magic it is when you stand back and look at the bigger picture and you look at what's going on, it is magic. And we have to walk around these people still in a trance and having to send our kids to school. And we educate them so they're not in that trance. They go in there and they're in their bubble. And this is why I'm saying this, because I feel guilty, as in... Why should I be? Because my daughter feels like I did, and her mum did, and her sisters did, and her nan, and her granddad, and her great nan, and her great granddad did for centuries. For all that we wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for the way we fought up until now. Fuck, it's crazy. If I can say to anyone out there who's just looking at this, I hasn't got a clue what the fuck's going on. Always follow your heart and gut feelings. And wish in one hand and shit in the other. And see which one weighs up the most. Because that's where we're heading at the moment. Literally. It's like pissing in the wind. And if we ain't got enough people to steer this ship and turn it around, then 
those 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 good souls were waiting to be left alone. Well, they're going to become the great damn busters. Believe me. Be happy. Be happy, lucky. <laughs> be happy, people. Be lucky. Love you all. Stress right out. Dummy head in today. Schools. I'm going to have to look up the definition of what the word schools mean and education and what's right and what's wrong because if the powers to be are educating our children in this way well are we parents or are we fools be happy be lucky people love you all